Everybody got headbands on? <laughs> Bobby, it's me. Bobby Jr. Jr. Nice to see you. Nah, this is crazy. That's what I was thinking when I saw you. Pleasure to meet you, Bobby Jr. Jr. You're handsome. Aren't I? <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I can't talk without you. <laughs> well, I'm happy to be your voice, Bobby Jr. Jr. People tell me I sound like Dave Chappelle, and I hate that. So listen, stop telling me that. <laughs> Bobby Jr. Jr. <laughs> the goal for today's shoot is to shoot this 30 second spot for Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. We got Bobby Portis. We also got Bobby Portis Jr. Jr. making his film debut. Bobby has been a pleasure to work with. The premise of the commercial is we're putting Bobby Portis in the director's chair and he's taking us behind the scenes on this year's PB&J challenge. Good, good, good. Aaron Johnson designed all of these awesome set pieces. I think everything turned out well. Looks like the storyboard, so that's what counts. And then, voila, movie magic. Camera speed. Camera speed. Action. Okay, can I have a little more hand movement, please? And um, also, can I see the jelly? No jelly? I don't know which one's jelly. How did you feel directing your first commercial? Uh, it was fun, had a great time. Uh, can't wait to see how we did. The man behind the puppet. How did it feel? Good. A little, a little cramped in there. It's a little cramped in the box, but it's all good. A dream come true. This is my best day. See if I can match, match the energy. Let's match it. Uh, right. Junior, what did you think when you first saw it? Oh, uh, definitely was a surprise. I've heard about it, but then when I actually see it in person, um, that was kind of cool to see. So, you know, it was funny. You know, it was fun to see, but, you know, I think it's for a great cause, though. Organize a PB&J food drive or donate to the PB&J Challenge by visiting feedingamericawi.org. I don't know if you guys remember this, uh, when Penny Hardaway used yes. to do this advertisement thing, yes. and then Little Penny, but that was really Chris Rock's voice. Yeah. Hey, Penny, is hey, this couch real leather? Cause it's sticking to my leg. And that was like so epic. It was like a time period in advertising where it was so funny. It probably had a little bit of raunchiness in it too, sure. because it was like the Little Penny is the oh, alter yeah. ego that'll stay at the club later or. I was talking to people unfamiliar with it completely. I was talking to them about crank yankers. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I was like, try to go that direction and stay a little bit away from Sesame Street. Yeah. Nailed it. Thank you. Thank Nailed you. it. Le LeBron and Kobe had uh, had yeah. puppets too, right? Yeah. Yeah. They, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been yeah watching those a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where do you want, guys? Up here somewhere? Well, you got a lot of space up there, so go for it. You can be as big as you want. Let's see how it is. Oh, there's a contract on the other side of this wall, so you just agree to a bunch of stuff. We'll design our volleyball team. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Check this out. So, Bobby Portis signed my jersey. Appreciate it, Bobby. Hell yeah. Thinking might frame it, put it here next to my old jersey. I also got autographed Bango. Shout out to you, Bango. What do you guys think? On that spot, I got an empty spot here too. But I think my gin movie poster is gonna go here. Thank you again, Bobby. Stay tuned for the next video. Watch gin if you haven't. I'm excited to take you guys on another shoot. Peace. So the camera does have puppet autofocus yeah. detect. Uh, yeah. This is wild. And I'm thinking to myself, how do you sound? Do you sound like this or do you sound a little more like a kid? I don't know. You got you a grown man face though. You, you can't, him. <laughs> he can't talk like a kid. He's got hair on his face. <laughs>